The brightly coloured windows are one of the first things you notice when you come into St Helens, so take a pew and we'll tell you a bit about them. Creating designs on the glass of church windows is a familiar form of religious art which originated in medieval times. The traditional origins are both decorative and educational, with many telling stories from the Bible at a time when literacy and access to books was limited. Some of the windows also act as memorials or demonstrate the wealth of the family who paid for them. The windows in the main body of the church are all in memory of individuals or families. You'll recognise some of the names from our other tours, such as Mammoth and Huntingdon. But there are past vicars remembered, including Reverend Marmaduke Vavasor and Canon John Denton, along with William Pettit Dewey's, who was a member of the Restoration Committee in the 1870s. If you take a look at the brass plaques under each of the windows, you can make out the memorial inscriptions. These richly coloured windows were installed when the church was made wider in 1878 to 1880 and include the work of the London firm of glass artists Lavers, Barrowed and Westlake. Stained glass had a revival in Victorian times and these windows are considered to be fine examples of the art. We don't know whether the donors chose the pictures for their own window or how it was decided which story should be told. Victorian windows are not technically stained glass, but are made of coloured glass, which is then painted and fired. They would have been made inside a wooden frame over a cartoon, using an H-shaped piece of lead into which the glass is slotted. The joints would then be soldered and the whole thing grouted with a mixture of chalk, linseed oil and turpentine. Take a look at these windows to see how much detail there is in the painting. And also look closely at the Vavasour window near the St Michael Chapel. Can you spot the mistake? The church also has examples of medieval glass in the windows of the Hastings Chapel particularly in the roundels. This was created by painting on silver nitrate and firing to give the yellow shades used for hair, halos and crowns. Brown and black were produced by using oxide. The oldest decorative glass consists only of these three colours. To produce variations in colour required great technical skill and knowledge of mixtures and firing times. Stained glass production was at its height in the 1400s. By the 1500s, it was available for use in houses. Now take a walk up to the front of the church and look at the windows in the chancel and Hastings Chapel. Make your way to the Hastings Chapel as shown in the map. Please pause the film by pressing the pause button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen as shown. These four windows were given to the church by Lord and Lady Donnington and are of a very different style. They're made up of leaded diamonds of clear glass and medieval roundels of heraldic crests and painted designs. The clear glass was originally from this part of the church. The beautiful coloured glass coats of arms were collected by Lord Donnington from various castles, including Ashby Castle, and mostly date back to the 16th century. With them are some Flemish glass biblical scenes. These windows were put together from the older glass in 1924 by Messrs Pope and Parr of Nottingham, who added labels to some of the coats of arms. We have the notes which Pope and Parr carefully produced, recording the origin of all the pieces, 
Transcripts are available from the welcome desk if you want to learn more. See if you can spot the coats of arms of Richard II, Queen Elizabeth I, the Hastings family and Cardinal Pole. Sadly, one of the original roundels was destroyed by vandals in the 1980s. A replacement was gifted by the Countess of Loudoun. Not all of our reminders of the past are quite so splendid. We have found names scratched into the windows of an upper room, the priest room. These could be the signatures of the glaziers, or more likely they are graffiti added much later. In the next tour you can hear about the stories which are told in our windows.